Okay, we are at the Target in Portland. We're going to start buying stuff for uh, the toy guns for tots. Got uh, our carts here. I've got uh, my minority uh, requirement for my workforce here filled with my son. Say hello, Zyler. And then I've got the hillbilly squad over here ready to help us out. My mom and my sister-in-law. So we're going to go in there and get started uh, shopping. All right, Zyler is going to be on calculator duty again this year. And we're just going to start loading up. We've already started here. Uh, piling stuff up, adding it up. And then when we get it to where we spent everything, we'll take it upstairs or up front and ring it all up. All right, we completely filled four carts and had to go get two more and we're still at only about three grand. So we got a little bit more shopping to do here. The women keep wandering off and doing their own thing instead of staying over here and helping. I don't know what they're doing. I'm gonna go buy a Barbie doll. For who are you buying a Barbie doll for? The chicken farmer Barbie for Claire. Okay, we are waiting to find out if we should go through a particular register or not. Uh, we definitely got way more than last year, and we didn't go cheap this year. We went with the higher-end stuff this year. We went with the, the big blasters, you know, the Fortnite stuff, and the great big $50 ones. And, uh, bought a lot of extra stuff, too, but uh, we went a little higher-end on each individual gun this year and bought easily two to three times as many. <laughs> so, uh, going to be a lot of happy kids. We'll get these over to Santa's Posse here in uh, just a few minutes as soon as we uh, get through the registers here at Target. Uh, someone's gonna be really happy when they end up behind us in line. <laughs> All right, we are lined up at the register here. Somebody's gonna, like I said, be upset if they get behind us. So, but we're getting ready to start checking out here. So uh, next video you see, or next portion of this video you see should be us loading stuff into the back of, where'd your grandmother go? Close. It's hard to keep. She's like herding cats. Yeah, we're gonna be there. But the next uh, part of the video should be us loading stuff into the vehicles. If I can wrangle up the old people. These are pretty cool. These are bows. I don't know if we got any bows last year. That's pretty cool. It's going. <laughs> it's taking a while, but it's a good one. We've still got a few more carts here. <laughs> but we're almost to the loading up stage. We're about three quarters of the way there. Okay, now we're gotta get all of this stuff into two hatchbacks here, into this uh, Jeep, which is a loaner, it's not my Jeep, and the Prius, which we do own, unfortunately. Uh, but my sister drives it, not us, so. Wish us luck. This is gonna be like putting one of those uh, wooden puzzles together. Okay, this one's stuffed full all the way up to the driver's seat and we're working on this one. So, but I do think we're gonna get it off. Yeah, we're gonna get it. Okay, we're unloading the first load here. Uh, they brought out a little dolly thing so they can start hauling it in, so. All right, well, I will get a hand cart. Yeah, won't you go with them and help them unload it? Yeah. All right, we're unloading load number one here. Dumping it off. They actually took it in there to unload it right now. And then we got more carts to fill. Okay, here's the donation spot. Here's the before. We'll see what it looks like after. We and some other people drop off some stuff. I just see if you guys need to get it. All right, here comes some more of the loads. They're coming down here. There should be another one. Where'd she go? Someone get lost? Oh, no, there they come. There they come right there. Get stuff unloaded here. As you can see, there's a big difference here now. They said there are more out back, so. I think they got that in already, right there. Yeah, yeah I think they got that already. It's all over here. Yeah. There we go, got it all unloaded. Now we can go home. <laughs> so uh, hopefully some kids will enjoy those. Yeah. Don't let the deputies play with them.
Hey everyone, I know you're probably having a little trouble seeing me right now because it's after five o'clock here in the Pacific Northwest and it's uh, wet and uh, dark. But uh, day two of dropping off stuff at the Sheriff's Department, uh, after everything uh, got tallied up yesterday and I found out how much I made on the chat Sunday, we had a little money left over. So I had to go back to Target, buy some more toys. I just finished dropping those off. So now I am done. Uh, this year's Toy Guns for Tots is done. Well, it's not completely done because uh, when I dropped off the toys today, I noticed one of the toys was broken. So I'm going to have to take that one back and uh, get it replaced. But other than that, uh, pretty much done. Once I get that done, we're finished. Uh, I look forward to this every year. I've only been doing it for two years, but I really look forward to doing it again this year. And we did so much better this year than last year. So it's a little out of work uh, going and buying it. It's well, not a lot of work, but it's a hassle uh, buying it, packing it up, shipping it over, taking it over there, unloading it, blah, blah, blah. But it's well worth it when you consider how many kids this is going to make happy, how many pew pew minded little kids out there are going to get their uh, toy guns that they asked for. So well, worth it. And even though I get to seem like a big shot taking it in there, I just wanted to thank the people that are really responsible, all of you out there that made this possible. Just thanks again and again and again, because like I said, you all made this happen. Uh, and I uh, really enjoyed doing it, and I look forward to doing it again next year.